So, though, I'm going to try to mute her as much as I can. Sorry, baby. Wow. Hold on. So, no. The person behind the camera states that he's alone and heard footsteps going down the stairs. This is what he caught on camera. Middle of the day, I'm the only person in the house and uh, just heard some uh, footsteps going up and down the stairs. I've checked all the rooms, there is, uh, there is nobody in. It's been doing it for about 10 minutes. I do, I regret putting um, my AirPods on noise cancellation, on noise cancellation. I regret that so much because when a video is playing, all I hear is the video and nothing else. Who? I thought that black thing was a, a something. Now that was terrifying. <gasps> God damn. Carolina Giselle has been experiencing strange activity at home. Out of all the strange occurrences, this one's the creepiest. How much you want to bet? Was his name Carol? Either touches the doorknob, attempts to open it, or opens it. I bet y'all five dollars. I'm just waiting for a jump scare. Carolina doesn't know what to make of this, but if you ask me, I see it as an opportunity to travel and explore new places. Shut up. Places that are far from home, specifically this one. A group of paranormal investigators were at an abandoned hotel and captured this. Listen closely. Everything is so loud. Oh shit. Stop looking around. Stop, just stop. I'm scared. Shit this right now. Oh my, my nerves right now. The hairs on the back of my neck. Oh my God, I'm so... Like A dog is resting peacefully when this happens. Not the dog. He not. Oh. You know it's serious when objects aren't the only things being thrown around.
In Cleveland, Ohio, there's a church that's been abandoned since 2003. It was just recently that Urbex Hill, an urban explorer, visited this place and encountered something really creepy. I won't be touching all that. That's crazy. That's cluck. I know I heard the piano. What the f Oh, yeah. Now, it's worth mentioning that Urbex Hill only uploads videos of places where something weird happens. I say this because his channel mostly consists of videos that are like this, where something strange occurs. Some of you might find this a little suspicious, but you can rest assured that these few videos are pulled from thousands of others where nothing odd happens. Whether real or fake, this is still pretty scary. There's nothing more unsettling than thinking that someone is watching you. This next video is the epitome of that experience. So it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been working in the studio. And the last couple of nights I've been hearing really creepy sounds. Um, I've been hearing footsteps and... Oh, I've seen this one. And uh, I think it looks familiar and like seeing things out of the corner of my eye. Now this is a really big old building. And so that's got me a little bit freaked out. I, the top of it was just a, a few minutes ago, I was going to the bathroom and I was standing in the stall and I swear someone grabbed the back of my shoulder while I was standing there and I freaked out. So if, uh, if something happens, I wanna have it on video. Wow. So this is where I was. I was standing right there. The lights are up in the bathrooms, of course. Hello? My eyes. You think? I think I'm done. I think I'm done. <gasps> oh shit! I don't know if I, I don't remember that. I I don't I do not remember that shit. I think I'm done. I think I've had about enough for today. It's all fun and games until the ghost starts playing peekaboo. Uh, Jesus. Grisel Luna was conducting a paranormal investigation at a place where human remains were found. The site has been abandoned for quite a while and is a hotspot for paranormal activity. While checking out one of the rooms, this happens. Vamos a iniciar por esta. Vamos a ver qué es lo que hay aquí. Se ve que hay algunos muebles antiguos que ya están llenos de tierra, que ya están ¡Ay! Se movió. Sí, se movió. 
Pero ya acabamos de llegar, sí estaba moviendo, ¿verdad? Yo vi como que se movió esto. Later on, Grisel goes outside and finds something pretty disturbing. Pues esto es como un hueso, ¿no? Oh my god. Ay, pero ¿qué es eso? Ay, mío. Espérate, no lo agarres. Ay, Dios mío. Was that racist? ¿Qué es esto? Ay, Dios. Tiene un hueso. ¿Cómo? Eso ya es como de brujería. I'm not sure if picking up the bone was a good idea yes, because I... what happens afterwards might have been the result of having done so. Yo creo que es momento de retirarnos porque ay no mames, no mames, no mames, no mames. Ay, ay wey, no mames. Shit. There's no way that I'd ever spend the night there. It's not clear what happened here, but I'm sure it wasn't good. This next video was submitted by Playing Games, who doesn't know the video's original source, as it was sent to him by a friend. But here's the video anyway. Oh, I saw it! I saw something. Oh, there go that glitch. Hell nah. God damn it. Many people believe that children attract spirits. Could this be an example of that? My friend Audrey told me her daughter had a friend she played with, thinking just an imaginary friend. Audrey couldn't believe how fast her daughter's room would get messy right after cleaning it. So, as her daughter was in the room talking to herself, Audrey decided to take a photo. Later that night, Audrey was skimming through the photos, and this is what was in the photo. Audrey also adds that if you look closely, there's a floating face by the closet door. The only way to find out if your child is playing with a ghost is to whip out the Ouija board and see if that's the case. But I know most people wouldn't dare try. Oh, They're not wrong though. It's probably best not to mess with the dead. It's probably or it is. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Instead of Instead of whipping out the Ouija board why don't you just whip out some Adidas and start haul ass and until you can't haul ass no more? I promise you, man. I promise you, like, nobody have ever known uh, has had an imaginary friend. And hopefully, the people that I meet in the, uh, the people that I meet in the future will not have no imaginary friends. Okay, that's uh, that's what I'm sorry. That's for birds. If you have some imaginary friends, you watching my video right now, go ahead and leave. You're not welcome here. You're not. You're not. You're not. So, you know what I mean? Like, you got all of that. Jesus. And then some. But, I don't know. That was, uh, Sorry. Um, but man, no, yeah. And then that first one, was it the first one? Where it was like the footsteps? Yeah. Or number nine? That scared the shit out of me. Because that seemed realistic as hell. And it seemed like somebody or something was just right there. A couple of feet. A couple of inches from you. Like, oh my. God on everything I would have shit bricks. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.